find out what he did wrong. First of all, brothers and sisters, we have to stop those people. Stop giving those people to the slack to do those kinds of negative and wicked things. When you give them the slack to do those negative and wicked things, what you do is you're playing right into what is called white supremacy. Because now we're not going to talk about what the the, 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 the atrocious, atrocious, the, the horrible act in which happened that the murder of those three people. We're going to talk about their background. If Ahmaud Aubrey was running down the street, was, was in a stolen car instead of driving down the street and somebody killed him, guess what? The person who killed him is wrong. If George Floyd would have had a pocket full of counterfeit 20s, him dying on that street that day is wrong. If Breonna Taylor was the Nino Brown of Kentucky, her dying in her house that day was wrong. So when you get these people that allegedly speak enough for truth, justice, and the way and the righteous way to do things, what you have to ask yourself is this. Why are they dead? And ask that person that, excuse me. You have to ask that person that the person who, you know, because we all got people who are either in the culture or outside of the culture who are attempting to have this educated conversation with you. And they want to present what they what they label is the truth. Okay, Rihanna Taylor, God rest her soul. She was the biggest drug dealer in the state of in the state of Kentucky and in the city of Louisville. Last time I checked, drug dealers they are supposed to be apprehended. They're supposed to be arraigned. Or they're supposed to be processed, arraigned, a trial, convicted, and then they get the punishment. The dude who grabs that person and arrests them are not supposed to assassinate them. Big George Floyd, the Secret Service is supposed to swoop down on you. Counterfeiting is a felony offense, a felony, a, 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 a federal offense. The Secret Service arrests you. You're tried, convicted in federal court, and then you get your just due. Aubrey, this fictitious car that I put him in, then, hey, you get arrested, arraigned, processed. You go to court and you get served. You are not supposed to be dead. We keep trying to justify who these people are, who these people are. We keep trying to deify them. We keep trying to explain why they shouldn't be dead. The law of the United States of America says that they shouldn't be dead. I don't give a damn what their background is. And that's the only conversation people in our community need to have with these clowns. We are entertaining asses. You know, you know, it, and it just makes no sense. Again, to quote the Bible, why are we throwing our pearls at swine? Why are we debating with people about what is clearly wrong? And you want to talk about the past. All I need to talk to you about is what happened to this brother or sister. And then we can, I don't give a damn what happens after that. But see, we are wasting time mixing it up with these people and they have zero to offer you and at the end of the day if you're trying to tell me about somebody's past who was brutally murdered in the streets of uh, the United States of America and they were unarmed and not doing anything murderable and at this point you shouldn't be killed you shouldn't be murdered by a police officer for anything we've seen a white man in Pennsylvania shoot a cop with a, with a shotgun and take a shot at some other ones and apprehended a lot we've seen several people from other communities throughout the United States of America who've done far worse, far more egregious acts than anything close to what Brianna did, like sleeping in a house, what like Big George did, like walking out of a store, like Ahmaud Arbery did, like staying in shape and looking at uh looking at uh uh, uh, uh structures and they live. So at this point you 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 cannot justify the death of anybody from my community, any unarmed person in my community, because we allegedly those people went out as armed and dangerous, and they came in alive. So you cannot justify the murder of anybody in our community if they are unarmed. And hell, even if they shooting at you, because the way law works is you show me precedent. 
And when you show me precedent, what happens is you have to either let me go or convict me in accordance to that precedent. So a precedent shows law enforcement throughout the United States of America apprehend armed and dangerous white men after ha having several violent acts. Brothers and sisters need to be going and getting booked just like those white men. So there it is. And as we get into these foolish conversations about my side, your side, who right, who wrong. Look, again, I said this a couple of weeks ago and I said today. How about we get to the mountaintop? How about we fix things in our community, create more unity, create more opportunities for each other and create some semblance of community and peace. And after we create that, then we can debate on who right and who wrong. See, because as Michael Max said, whether you are Muslim or Christian or Mason or Elk or Kappa or, 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 or AKA, at the end of the day, you're a black person. So let's try to fix our community. And then you can debate who God is. You can debate the methodology. You can debate weed or not. You can debate alcohol or not. You can debate gay or straight. You can do all those debates after we get comfortable. But you know that comfortable thing is going to take a couple hundred years. Or a couple decades. Couple, couple three decades. So... If you got 30 years to wait that, that argument, because people going to still be whatever they're going to be in 30 years. Know that. But if you accept them people for who they are, because they're on your side and they're on the side of righteousness, let's just do that. One side of the street are people who are trying to make peace so that children can be safe, that they can get educated, they can open their own businesses, and they can chase their own dreams. Other side of the street are people who are fighting against that. If you on the side of the street of righteous, let's just work together. And once we get righteous and it's settled, then we can develop when we can start dissecting the differences of opinion and differences of this and that. How about that? Let's work on that. Back to the show. Let's look at this, too. Here's the reason that you don't engage in foolish conversations about Breonna Taylor and if our sister Sandra Bland shouldn't have said something to the cop and if this person shouldn't have done this and that person shouldn't have done that because your ancestors, I keep bringing this up and I mean this, man. Your ancestors and the creator are always working towards righteousness. You don't have to believe me. It works. It happens every time. You set up and you argue with Candace Owens and that reverend dude. Damn, I said her name. But you argue with these buffoons who are anti-community and pro bootlicker. That's just, just what you are. You're a bootlicker. You, 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 you pro-system, you anti-us, and you want to prove to the system that you a good Negro. So you sign up with them and you point out any flaw that you could potentially point out. And the buffoons on the other side that swear they're not anti-us, they sign up with that immediately. But that's why I, I I almost thank God for those dudes because they, those dudes and women, because they shine a light on these fake allies. Because the moment I had to cut off a dude a few years ago because he started talking that nonsense. So, and I think I don't miss it. You know, he was, good, he was cool. Yeah, but you out of here. But this dude, the, the uh, attorney general of the state of Kentucky, and this, again, this goes right into using those tools on the tool belt. Voting don't affect you. My vote don't count. Yada, 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 this, that, and the third. 48% of the state of Kentucky are registered Democrats. 43% are registered Republicans. And then you got the rest undecided. Now, if you got the rest undecided, the moment you say 48% Democrat, that means this dude should have never been, he should have never been the uh, 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 attorney general, which means you'd have had somebody who was on your side and uh, 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 and you'd have had somebody on your side on the Breonna Taylor case and you wouldn't have had a dude suppressing the facts and then you wouldn't be angry right now. But you got dozens and, and you got thousands and potentially millions of people saying, oh, that don't mean nothing. Ask Breonna Taylor's family, do it mean anything? 
Ask uh, Sandra Bannon family, does it mean anything? Ask this boy in Chicago, Laquan McDonald's, do it mean anything? Because, you know what? We got a sister here in Chicago. She just won her second uh, election. She put a foot in the behind of the former mayor of Chicago and everybody else who wasn't rocking with them. She put a foot in their behinds and she let Jesse Simone go on false police report, gave him a final slap on the wrist and now they're trying to fight her and fight her and fight her. Guess what? She just got reelected to a second term because guess what? She also stopped locking up people with for traffic tickets. She also stopped putting people in the county jails with murder, thieves, and rapists for parking tickets and things of that nature. See, when you decriminalize non-criminal activity, that's somebody on your side. But vote don't count. Vote don't work. It ain't going to do nothing but Kim Fox, sister from my neighborhood. And how about this? For all you clowns who listen in the background, for all you people who doubt my sincerity, I don't even personally like Kim Fox. I grew up with Kim Fox and I don't like her. But guess what? She did the right thing. So me not liking her has nothing to do with her doing the right thing and me not supporting her as a, 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 a politician. Because guess what? The last thing time I had a face-to-face conversation with Kim Fox, she was on the campaign trail. She said something made me want to slap her. And that's the real. That's on the real. But I still voted for her. How about that? And it seems to be paying off. Because it's a lot less brothers and sisters in the county jail for parking tickets than it is before she got there. What she did is she won a second term to run for it. She's not running on the polls. She's the nominee. When they vote, they'll be, you'll be voting for Kim Fox. Or not. But she won the primary is what I'm saying. So nobody, she, she's running the polls to somebody else. And seeing how this is a largely Democratic town, Kim Fox should keep that job. Sorry, Trump supporters. You're going to be mad. And I'm a, I'm, a, I'm going in to vote. I'm an early vote. I'm going in. So uh, she got my vote again. And and like I was saying, like uh, and we just looking at a situation when man, if he, this dude uh, uh in Kentucky, he suppressed the information. Uh uh, he he, and now the ballistic reports are coming out that this brother who was there with Breonna Taylor. He's on the phone with the police, calling the police on what he didn't even know was the police. Then, I found out today the brother uh, sustained bullet wounds himself. And then I found out some more information that the ballistic reports state the bullets from his gun are inconclusive. So we don't even know if he shot one of these cops. Shout out to Charles Barkley. Shout out to Keel O'Neill. It's been good. But this is what I'm saying, man. For all these people... Who's saying it don't affect them? These are the type of things that affect everybody. Because how does it feel for this brother to be at home with his lady, laying in the bed, and the Gestapo bust in his crib and kill his woman, and then offer him a deal, saying if you sm- if you muddy your lady's name, you can go home. You know. If you want to muddy his name, I mean, if you want to muddy up your lady's name, you can go home. Period. See, this is the foolishness that I'm talking about. So, if the, if the vote don't count and all this stuff is irrelevant, why are they telling lies? Why are they spreading propaganda? Why they got these know-it-all jackasses on their team putting out this? Why are they creating algorithms to bring foolishness to your door in order to deter you from what's going on because you know what again there's nothing in the world that's going to get me to eat chips nothing I've never had them I'm never going to have them 
and it ain't no 